Scott with Yakima here. Let's install and use the Yakima Showdown kayak and sup mount. No tools are needed, but you will want a measuring tape. Other than that, it's ready to install right out of the box. It comes with everything you need to haul a kayak or a couple of sups or surfboards. In the box are two Showdown mounts with kayak saddles installed, felt pads, straps for tying down, sup saddles, and a set of round bar adapters. Before you start, grab your tape measure to make sure your crossbar spread is at least 24 inches. Then, make sure there's at least 3.5 inches of crossbar beyond the tower. If you use our classic round bars, you'll need to use the included adapters and remove the jaw pads from the clamps. Okay, install time. First step, peel off the backing and apply the felt pads to your saddles. Now, place the showdown units on your crossbars making sure to place the left side unit on the left and the right side unit on the right. We put an L and R on the end of the handles to make this easier. And this is important. The inboard clamp must always be inboard of a tower, like this. And the outboard clamp can be no further than 4 inches from the tower. Once it's in place, fully tighten all of the clamps. Then test your installation and re-tighten if necessary. If you've purchased some Yakima SKS locks, Go ahead and install them now. That's it, you are ready to load. If your vehicle is equipped with folding side mirrors, always fold them in before you load or unload your boat or sup. Okay. Unclip and pull out the safety pin from the loader. Go ahead and let it hang, but be sure it doesn't ding your vehicle. Now grasp the handles and pull the loader all the way out, then gently lower all the way down. Loosen the knobs. Raise the inboard cradles, then retighten the knobs. Pull down the support hoops and take another quick measurement. Your showdown must be adjusted on the crossbars so that it clears the vehicle by 4 inches when deployed. If it's too close, you'll need to readjust. Okay, time for straps. Insert the strap ends down through the inboard cradles. Adjust them so the buckles are positioned like this. Now, load your boat. Gently rest it on the support hoops, then make sure it's balanced. Bring the straps around to rest on the boat. Loosen the knobs and slide the saddles to meet the boat. And re-tighten the knobs. Make sure the saddles are making full contact with the boat. It should look like this. Not this, and not this. If your boat is set, route each strap through the support hoops and through the lower saddles as shown. Make sure you don't strap to the support hoops. Route each strap upward back through the support hoops and insert them into the buckle. Pull each strap hard to tighten and secure any loose ends with the strap clips. Double check that you have solid contact with the saddles. Now, take the handles and raise the boat all the way up, then slide it onto your vehicle. Replace the safety pins. Never, ever drive without those pins in place. Now use the provided straps to secure the bow and stern of the boat. Don't slack on the straps bow and stern tie-down lines need to be used. Review your printed instructions for details on the various ways to secure your bow and stern lines. Once it's strapped down, test your work. Make sure the boat and the showdown don't slip or slide. Make any readjustments you need to make, straps, cradles, or knobs, and you're good to go. To unload, remove the safety pins. Grab the handles and gently lower the showdown. Release and remove the straps. Carefully lift your boat off the carrier. Fold up the support hoops. Then loosen the inboard saddle knobs, slide them against the support hoops, and re-tighten. Bring it back up and replace the safety pins. To use your showdown for surf or stand-up paddle boards, you need to swap the inboard saddles for the included sup saddles. Here's how it works. Once you've placed the showdown on your crossbars, Loosen, then slide the inboard saddles all the way down and remove them. Remove the knob and T-bolt from each inboard saddle. Then attach the knobs and T-bolts to the sub saddles. Install the sub saddles into the slot. Raise them up the channel and tighten them down. You may carry up to two boards. Always load the biggest one first and place padding between the sups to protect them. The longest sup must be tied down for travel. Once you're at the water, unloading works just like it does for a kayak. 
to stash your showdown when you don't need it, loosen the clamp knobs, lift it off, and put it away until your next trip to the water.